right now. And Austin City Hall is getting a makeover. Starting today, crews will start renovating that building. And they're making room for the new city council members because in 2015, they're going to have 11 council members instead of the current seven. KXA and Sophia Bosile is live for us at City Hall. Good morning. Hi, good morning, Sally. Well, this is a direct result of the 2012 November elections. And if you take a look at your screen, this might refresh your memory. So voters approved the 10 to 1 plan, which means uh, 10 single district members along with a citywide mayor. And the city also approved a $2.5 million budget to accommodate all the new officials. So starting today, crews will work on the second floor and they'll add four new city council offices, staff resource and conference rooms. This area used to be the city auditor's office and that is now moved to the lower Colorado River Authority space and will permanently move to Silicon Labs, which is across the street. Now, when it comes to the city council chambers, construction will start in two months and they will force uh, that will force city council meetings to move to the Travis County Commissioner's Court in August for a couple months. Now, this is a picture of what the city hall chambers will look like with the facelift. If you take a look at, you can see that there's a big screen in the background on obviously a lot more city council member seats. Now, um, we will have a good in-depth info for you coming up at KXAN News at 7 o'clock on the CW Austin. We're actually talking to the project manager and he will show us what exactly is going to happen and how exactly your tax dollars will be used. Reporting live from downtown Austin, Sophia Bosile, KXAN News. All right, see you in less than 30 minutes over on the CW. Sophia, thank you.